I can't believe that we have finally reached the point with the Tom Pan where we can start videos on a bike. It doesn't seem five minutes ago that this was just an empty field with just visions and plans in my brain. But now we are deep into the testing phase of the first jump, which is the mulch jump. And last episode, we built the kicker. And what that uncovered is the fact that the landing needs to be built up. And that is what we're hopefully gonna achieve in today's episode. It's quite funny really, we've made it to this point of the build and the only digging we've done is to dig the holes to fit the posts in the ground for the rolling. And when you think of jumps, I think you automatically think you're mostly gonna be digging. Everything's been timbered until now, which is awesome because I love making things out of wood, but the time has come. We had this landing created by my dad in the digger and I've thought it's about seven foot tall for a six foot ramp, which should be about right. But obviously our ramp is off the ground slightly, which means it's made it a step down. And for tricks, you definitely need a step up because it gives you an element of safety. Obviously it needs mulch on it, but I'm a firm believer that there's only so much you can shape a landing with a machine. It's very difficult to be super precise. Believe it or not, with clumps of mud like this on it, this landing is actually perfect because it's allowed me to test the jump, make sure the gap's good, make sure the speed's working. But the goal today is to shape this landing up. There's loads of dirt on the sides, on the back, that doesn't need to be there. That can go on top, we can make it taller, we can smooth all this out, make it steeper, because it's a bit of an ankle breaker at the moment. Then hopefully, we can source some mulch or wood chip, and that will give it even more depth and make the landing even bigger. I'm gonna have a few hits on it on my e-bike in not windy conditions so you guys can get a proper taste for what it's like. I've also discovered a pretty sick way to get out the rolling on the e-bike. Check this out. There we go. <laughs> Just eave up it. Don't even need the steps. Right, so spin around, click up one gear. We don't have to wait half hour for a break in the wind today, so dropping in. You! It's so good. You! Compared to the other day, it's feeling insane. Yeah, that's so good. And I think that can actually conclude testing because the jump's working perfect. The gap's good, like I'm clearing it on the e-bike, which means the jump bike, there's gonna be loads of speed. It's just, the landing is the wrong shape, it's quite aggressive at the moment. As tempting as it is to keep riding a half-built jump because the e-bike actually works perfect on it, we're going to finish the landing. So I think it's about time we put the bike away, run a build lapse and get this landing done. it because there's a gaping hole in the front of the landing but this is actually going perfectly to plan we've spent the last few hours stacking now and the landing is actually a tiny bit higher than the takeoff so we've got it to the height that we need it to be at which is huge because that's the hardest thing and the way we've achieved that is we've dug a hole in the middle of the landing and then we've thrown the dirt up from there because it saves you donkey work basically running dirt up from the sides and then trying to get it up there. And then what we'll do is we'll use the dirt that is lower to fill the hole in in the front. It's just kind of being smart and not doing more hard work than what's required. But that's looking so good. It's well on course to be a perfect step up jump and I'm stoked. of the landing build. It's scorching hot here in the UK at the moment, which is insane. And the landing's almost done, and we're actually getting some wood chip now. So I borrowed a vehicle, and the back of it is 
absolutely full of chippings. This is our second trip. And we're on the way back to the compound now. We're gonna dump this off, get the landing finished. Then it's almost go time. The jump's almost ready. Not just ready to ride, it's actually almost complete. Solid building in the sun, two injured backs, four hands which all cut and blistered, and plenty of other blood, sweat, and tears have gone into creating this landing behind me. It is all absolutely worth it because what we have created is actually insane. I'm not gonna lie, on the last episode when we built the kicker and put that in place, and I could see how small the landing was. Firstly, I didn't actually think there was gonna be enough dirt to go around and stack it to the height that it needed to be, but under closer inspection, I kind of figured out there is, but it is gonna be an absolute mammoth of a task. And I was, a, I found it a little bit overwhelming. I was like, do I need to get the machine back again? Can I make it work? So I thought, I'm gonna give it a go, see how we get on. And I mean, we've got on, we've got a whole landing. The last three days have been so tough. And whilst helping Tom with the landing, I've also been getting on with a few other jobs, which include painting, the plywood on the kicker ramp and on the rolling so we decided to go for this green colour which is really nice and matches the rest of the woodland surrounding area and I've also felted the centre of the uh, kicker as well just to protect the plywood a little bit make it last a little bit longer and to make it extra grippy if it rains and things as well here we go this is the other bit I painted there, there is a little bit more to do on the top bit but um, it involves hanging over the edge of the rolling and I don't really want to do that so that's going to be for Tom later on but I think what he wants to do now is test it. Like Cara just said there's a few jobs that need to be finished a little bit of painting this pile of dirt here just needs moving but with the landing being done and having put a few days work into it for myself I couldn't not test it and I thought well if I'm going to test it I might as well share that with you guys it's more interesting than watching the side of the wood being painted so I'm actually quite nervous because Honestly speaking, this is quite a big jump and I've only hit it on the e-bike. The gap is actually a little bit bigger because we've built on the front of it because it's easier than trying to stack the back. It was just keep that as it is and put the dirt on the front. But I'm going to get on my bike now and I'm going to... I'm just going to roll into it actually to start with and see what the speed's like on the jump bike because I haven't even ridden on the wood here with the dirt jumper. It's actually so sick that we can start videos here now riding and finishing with riding it's crazy how far we come in just a short period of time i'm so proud of it there's no wind today as well so thumbs up in that department are you ready for a test run yeah. okay all right first proper drop in on the jump bike then see how fast it is oh my god it's so quick wow so quick. i don't think i'm going to need to do anything for uh, other than a good pump like what i just did I think that's all I need to get over that. Cool, I'm scared. I just want it to work. I'm not scared to jump it. I'm just, I want it to work. I don't want to land in the back of it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, oh my God. Bit quicker. One pedal, I think. I kind of push through it there quite a lot. And I think to, ride the ramp properly i'm gonna to have to actually put one pedal in to be able to pull up and then do tricks but landing felt good takeoff felt really nice the jump bike speed is really i mean it was working fine and the good thing is because of the way we've done the floor that shouldn't ever really change one pedal Literally sprinting back to the top. It's too, it's too good. <laughs> Woo. I was on a little filming platform, and I think third run, I'm going to hit a backflip on it because the jump just feels absolutely perfect for it. And sometimes that's actually easier than jumping it straight. Here we go then, backy. Oh 
yes! <laughs> yeah, boy! That's so sick! Oh, yes! Yo! <laughs> That's so sick. Honestly, to have a jump to practice on again is good because I feel rusty. I might not look it, but I feel rusty because I just don't really have. Like, I've got this now. I can come here whenever I want and just brush the cobwebs off and stay fresh on the bike, which I'm absolutely pumped about. Do you want to get another angle of that car? I might try to get a flip nander on the go. Okay. I think not so long ago this was an empty field and now we're doing backflip no handers in here. It's absolutely mind blowing. I, I, I can't believe what we've built in quite a short period of time. And we've actually got quite a busy June coming up so we're not gonna be here as much. But to get this project sort of, I'd say it's wrapped up, apart from the odds and sods, to have that wrapped up before we go away is huge because it means when we come back we can start focusing on something else which I'm not gonna dive into now. I'll take you guys on a walk on other parts of the land very soon and show you what's about and see what you guys can come up with. A few things before we finish. Chicken wire is the best idea and it's the most commented thing, so thank you very much because I hadn't thought of that. The other thing, Cara mentioned to me that in her video, if you've seen that, she didn't do the rolling when she wanted to. If I make something smaller, she'll go down it straight away and it's not a challenge and there's not that level of progression there. So that's what we're looking for with Cara. I have kind of made that as safe as possible for her to try. I've rolled the top. If I was just riding it, I'd make it like a knife edge so you have to bunny hop in, but I've done everything I can to try and make it for Cara to step her, her riding level up. And that's the next level of progression that we're looking for with her. And then eventually she might be able to hit this one day. Who knows, we'll find out. I'm gonna have a proper session here in the next few days. I'm gonna film it and make a video. I might invite some other riders and it's gonna be sick because the jump's done and we can actually ride it. And I can't believe I'm sat here saying that. So. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Yeah, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a